Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy. And today we are going to be going through how much money I made as a new Airbnb host in the month of February. Now, if you've been watching some of my other videos, you'll know that we opened our Airbnb in December of 2022. And we've been pretty lucky in the fact that we've had quite a few guests stay with us, but we're new Airbnb hosts. We're still learning. And so up until this point, we've been struggling to turn a profit, whether it's because the nightly rate is too low or because things keep breaking. <laughs> and so I'll cut to the exciting news right off the bat. We actually made a profit this month, which is so, so, so exciting. Okay, let's jump into the numbers. So we had 23 nights booked over seven guest groups, which put us at an 88% occupancy rate. And our nightly rate was anywhere between 174 and 499, which is up from the month of January. Okay, so our earnings for the month of February before any expenses was $9,487, which is just so, so, so exciting. Mortgage, taxes, and insurance was $3,356. Airbnb fee was $297. Cleaning fees were $1,391. Utilities were $486. Our pool, lawn, and pest service was $330. And our supply like gift basket items, any kind of cleaning supplies uh, was $64. By the way, I am more than happy to share all these numbers. I think that transparency is how we all learn and grow. But if you find this helpful, if you wouldn't mind giving me a like and a subscribe, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, back to the video. So you may notice that there's something absent from this list and that is that we didn't have anything break or any repairs. In the couple of months previous to this, when we were open, we would be close to making a profit and then something like the hot tub would break. See my January video, I'll link that down below if you wanna check that one out. So all in all, our profit was what we got to put in our pocket was $3,563, which is just like so, so, so exciting because as you guys know, like this was a lot of work to get up and running and it's been really, really fun, but it is a business. A business is supposed to turn a profit. And so that's just been really exciting to see the strategy start to work. A couple of things that I think have contributed to this and that we're going to keep learning from. So number one, nothing broke. It's a little bit out of our control if things like a hot tub are going to break but obviously like it's going to be really hard to turn a profit if something is breaking every single month. I don't think that is going to be the case moving forward. We've had quite a few things that we've had to repair and I think somewhere along the way things are just going to going to kind of level out. So nothing broke, that was a big one. We also had slightly longer stays, so rather than people staying, you know, two or three nights, we were getting four, even I think we had five one night booking, which means that we're going to have fewer kind of orphan days or onesie twosie days at the beginning of the week. And it also helps because we don't have as many turnovers, so our cleaning fees aren't as high. Our average daily rate was also higher. Our average daily rate was 138 to 142 in the month of January. And in the month of February, it was 174 to 499. And I think a little bit of that is seasonality. And it also helps that we put our profile on Airbnb in late, late November of 2022. And so any larger group that was really pre planning a trip was really starting to book out in February and March. So we didn't have to discount our rate for those last minute travelers, which is what we had been doing in December and January to kind of fill the nights. So I think that significantly helped in helping us get our nightly rate up. So when I look back at the month, there actually wasn't a ton of drama nothing broke. Um, guests checked in. We didn't really hear a peep from anybody and things were going pretty smoothly. I would say one learning point from the month is we had been getting all five star reviews up until the month of February. I think we had 11 or 12 five-star reviews on our profile. And one of our guests in February um, wrote us the nicest public review. He said, my family had a great time. They loved everything about the house. It was beautiful. But then he gave us four stars. And in his private note, he said, you didn't have a heated pool. And immediately we thought, oh my gosh, like, was there something in our profile that led him to believe that we have a heated pool? <laughs> like, did we mislead him in some way? So we wrote him a note 
back and we said, hey, like, were you mistaken? Like, did you think we have a heated pool? And he said, oh, no, 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 everything was great. It just would be a nice amenity to have. And that's why he graded us four stars because I guess in his mind, a five-star place would have a heated pool. I'm not really sure what to take from that because I don't really know how you would manage those expectations any differently because we don't have it in our profile that the pool is heated. So we did reach out to see just out of curiosity how much it would cost to add here to our pool. We're going to hold off on that and just see if this continues to be something that guests bring up. That was a voice of one. It was just kind of interesting to have that experience where they were really pleased with their stay, but we didn't get a perfect review because we didn't have an amenity that they thought would be nice to have. Still doesn't overall hurt our score significantly, but we are shooting to have super host status. And so those five-star reviews are really, really important. But yeah, other than that, it was, it was smooth sailing for the month of February. Right now, as I'm filming this video, it is mid-March and I don't want to jinx anything, but March is shaping up to be a game-changing month for us. And so I'll wait to post this video until after March is over and I'll link the March video right here so that you can go check that out. But I think that we're, we're on the up and up and things are going to start getting really, really exciting for our business. So I think that's everything for today. Bye guys.